we never can't not do nothing and today I'll make a video where I will show how uh, I make my videos explain all the equipment used in these videos in case you want to make your own videos and you find this useful and uh, to first put a few disclaimers uh, I will make uh, chapters in this video's description so you can jump to the parts that are of interest to you because it would be a bit long and perhaps tedious but uh, I don't want to miss presenting anything it's not like some sort of advertisement but uh, it's supposed to just uh, relay my experience so far and that is another disclaimer I'm not saying that this is how YouTube videos should be made but I will just explain what has worked for me so far and uh, the things that I've tried that have uh, made some improvements and that I figured out that that work so uh, now we can begin uh, one by one all the equipment used to make these uh, by grammar and YouTube videos let's start here is the camera I'm using uh, and uh, an iPhone SE model it's a poor man's iPhone and it's the cheapest uh, mobile phone or camera that I could get any sort of uh, recommendation that it works well and makes good videos so it's it is what it is it's my greatest investment and uh, I don't use smartphones very much so it was just primarily bought to make videos and it is what it is couldn't cut any costs on that now uh, for the sound first thing I did to make some sort of soundproof and uh, to prevent noise is using this it's a uh, Styrodur I'm not sure the English term but I'll put links to all the products and I put it on my garage door because it's made of steel and uh, it transfers a lot of noise from the outside a lot of people here drive motorcycles like me eh? and there's a lot of shouting and birds singing and dogs barking and so on and I glued it to the door using this I will link all the products in the video description and this works well it keeps it uh, fixed in the cold and in the heat of the summer on the steel door and I think it's reasonably good and it's a lot simpler than using any screws or bolts and for several reasons I thought this is a, a good idea it even keeps the sound and heat isolation on the on the walls where I, where I needed it and for microphone I got this the price you can see here it's about just under $30 here everything costs a lot in Serbia it's probably cheaper abroad and this is the model uh, again I will link the, the video and to record the sound from it as I'm speaking now I'm using an old smartphone here just any smartphone will do it's in my pocket while I'm talking and later I synchronize the audio I will explain that in a separate video how it's done now the next thing is lighting and for lighting I bought this cheap like a flashlight or, or floodlight whatever it's called in English it's uh, some uh, 500 Kelvin 500 sorry 5500 Kelvin is the the color or the warm or the warmth of the light and in my experience about 5000 Kelvin is the sweet spot plus minus 500 if you go below that you will get that uh, yellow light that does not allow you to work and see things easily when you work it's different at home but when you are working in a garage this is better and it's also better for recording videos and if you go over that then you will get that uh, like hospital light very very white and now I will show that as well here it is the 6500 Kelvin light very cheap relatively cheap to buy here in Serbia and these work surprisingly well they are made in Russia or Ukraine I'm not sure and I couldn't get any Philips or better brands in, in this power and with 20 watts this is 20 watts of LED light so it's very good it's analog to 200 watt uh, normal old style light bulb it gives very nice dispersion of light so there are not uh, any sharp shadows and it uh, works for a long time without going broke so the only problem is that I could only choose 4000 or 6500k models 
and it's similar with Philips. They also they do make something about 5000 Kelvin, but they're very weak, like uh, 5 to 10 watts at max. So it didn't work for me. But the downside is that a bit of light here is like a mixture of 6500 and 5500 K. So here I will show what this looks like when it's installed. This one is turned off. This is the floodlight. I set it to shine at the top because my ceiling here is not very tall. So this makes a good, good choice. And the other lights I put on various places around my garage to have a bit of a dispersion. And this here is the floodlight that's set to shine to the ceiling as well. And so that's about it very budget and it allows me to make videos that I hope show what is being done and the audio is I hope relatively clear and it can be understood and that is about it and for the for the editing I use free software and I'll make a separate video on the editing software that I use on Linux also free operating system and hmm, that's it thanks for watching I hope it helps anyone who's into our thinking about making YouTube videos. Cheers!